an individual far more eloquent at delivering videos and messaging on the internet. He's got his own presence all over the internet, far better than me at delivering the message, as I said. He would say, California cannot be out stupid -a -da 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 -da. Did I put an extra did -da 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 in there? Maybe. LA County, San Francisco County, they're at the top of the totem pole when it comes to stupid behavior, so here they go. LA County urges essential workers to wear face masks inside their own homes to prevent the spread and reveals one person dies from the virus every seven minutes. Barbara Ferrer, the LA County Director of Public Health, encouraged essential workers to wear their face coverings while they're inside the home. Ferrer said that includes anyone who is leaving their home every day for work or running errands for family members. She said the 19 is killing someone in LA every seven minutes. LA County Department of Public Health has reported 932,697,000 positive cases of the 19 across all areas of LA County and a total of 12,387 deaths. LA County is an epicenter for the 19 outbreak, accounting for some 40% of California's virus-related deaths and a huge number of new cases. It just hit me. If this area, LA itself, and they've been under some of the strictest lockdowns in the entire state, if they're still accounting for 40% of the deaths and a huge number of new cases, we don't got the statistic on that, but why don't we just build a wall around the entire county? Everybody in that county can just stay inside. Maybe they can build up herd immunity quicker that way, but why does the rest of the state have to get put under lockdown orders as well when most of the problem is coming from here. Those, you know, those fences they're erecting around the White House for the Biden inauguration. Why don't we just throw some of those around the entire county of LA? I know it's not feasible. I'm just having some fun with it. But why do the rest of us have to suffer, baby? Come on. on Monday, nearly 8,000 people were hospitalized in LA County, which had fewer than 50 intensive care units available in an area with a population of 10 million people. So then that would mean, based on what we saw earlier, with the 40%, with LA County area making up about roughly 25%, then they are seeing a greater number of cases than the greater number of population they would have within the county borders. So yeah, throw those fences around it. Come on, lock it down, baby. Lock them all down. <laughs> there is a sliver of hope with new hospitalizations statewide down from 3,500 a day earlier this month to about 2,500. Some forecasts have predicted the hospitalizations will level off by the end of the month. Obviously, the vaccine will help. While the county saw a dip in new cases, Ferrer said it's probably due to decreased testing after New Year's holiday. Oh, uh, decreased testing. So then before, and I'm not going to say this is everyone, of course, but I gotta smack myself around for this one. I was told that Oh, no, 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 the increased cases, that doesn't have anything to do, or it has only a small bit to do with the increased numbers of testing, right? That this huge spike we're seeing in cases has little to do with increased testing. That's, that's just what I heard. That's what I was told. I'm not saying that everybody said that. That's just what I've heard. So now they're telling me that those numbers are because of a decrease in testing. I... Oh, I got nothing. I, I really have nothing. on I Let's read some more. It's killing someone every seven minutes on average. Deaths increased from 12 deaths a day in early November to more than 200 daily reported deaths last week. Now is not the time to meet with friends at your home or to watch the game. Do as you're told, Dr. Fauci told me. Oh, well. How many holidays have they taken from me? Maybe they're still in it all for me. Yeah, now it's not the time to go for a walk without a mask. You're telling me I need to go and wear a mask on a walk? Get out of here. All it takes is one mistake and soon five, ten, and twenty other people become infected. Many of whom can become your friends, family members, or colleagues. Ah. <laughs> Oh, goodness. I can't. I just can't. I can't. Governor Newsom and public health officials are counting on widespread vaccinations to help stem the tide of new infections, starting with medical workers and the most vulnerable elderly. 
such as those in care homes. Newsom, a turd, acknowledged the rollout of vaccines has been too slow, and he pledged one million shots will be administered this week, more than twice what's been done so far. That effort will require what Newsom called an all-hands-on-deck approach, including having vaccines dispensed by pharmacies and pharmacy technicians, dentists, paramedics, and emergency medical technicians, and members of the California National Guard. Orange County, represent, south of Los Angeles County, announced Monday that its first mass vaccination site will be at a Disney Resort parking lot in Anaheim. It's one of five sites to be set up to vaccinate thousands of people daily. The sites are absolutely critical in stopping this deadly virus, County Supervisor Doug Chafee said in a statement. That's good. Good for people that want to take it. Definitely will give them some peace of mind. And I'm sitting here not placing the blame on OC because, come on, I love OC. We got to blame LA for this stuff. California in general, you're to blame. <laughs> we knew the vaccine was going to be ready sometime after December. Obviously, cities, states, counties are limited to the number of vaccines that they do get. Obviously, I understand that, so I'm not going to put the blame on anyone for that. They can only produce them so fast. What I'm wondering is, last week or the week prior, they were telling me that Trump was to blame due to the slow rollout, that not enough vaccinations were available, that a certain number were promised and not delivered in terms of people actually taking the injection. As I said during that video, you can't make somebody take something they don't want to take. He can project a million shots will be administered this week. Well, if that number falls short, does that mean I get to blame him? I mean, yeah, I get to blame him, right? They're telling me that Trump was to blame for the other thing, so I get to blame him. But that's the problem. Not pointing the finger at him right now for this, but you can't make those projections because... You can't dictate how many people actually want to do the thing. You can't force somebody to get a shot. If only 500,000 people want to take it and you've got a million, then what do you do? Are you going to come out and tell people the numbers or are you going to make some excuse? Well, oh, let me guess. You'll make some excuse. Oh, due to inclement weather in the Los Angeles County area, individuals uh, were not allowed or were, not, uh, were afraid to come out and take the vaccination. Bro, it's like 65 degrees here in the winter. Come on now. It's kind of like a Disneyland ride with cars moving through, said Heather Bushman, spokesperson. You like how I did that, right? Spokesperson for UC San Diego Health, whose medical staff was administering the shots. Uh, no, stupid. It's not like a Disney ride. People are dying, damn it, during the pandemic, and you're over here making jokes. Well, let's wrap it up. I've had enough of this. It's there on the screen if you want to see it. You get the gist. They didn't talk much about the recommendation to wear the masks in home. Who is going to follow that were what some of the commenters were talking about below saying, oh, I would never do that myself. But I said to people, I've seen people in cars alone with the windows rolled up and they're wearing a mask. I've seen people walking out, nobody around, way far away from anyone. They're out here wearing masks. We're talking about people in their 20s. Come on, I'm an old hag. I'm in my 40s. I should be concerned. But as I said, for those of you who are able to, obviously do what you got to do to be safe, whether you believe in this or not. Do what you got to do to keep your family, your loved ones safe. And if you are able-bodied, get out there and exercise. Vitamin D. Get out there. Put in some work. Don't let this BS get you. And that's not just for this, of course. That's for all risk factors that can come our way. Heart disease. Huge killer right? Almost a million per year. But put yourself in a good position. Fitness-wise, if you can, if you're able-bodied, as I said, not everyone is, to where you can develop a stronger immune system and help fight some of this stuff off. And uh, wear a mask and wash your hands and uh, that's, that's how we're going to cure it all. <laughs> Take care, everybody. Thanks for watching. Be well. If I see you out there wearing a face mask in your car with your window rolled up, I swear. <laughs> all right, everybody. Be well. Take it easy. Thanks for watching.